I'm definitely not the naturalist, most natural person on earth. Hey, love bugs, it's your girl, Disastrous Beauty, coming back with the voiceover. So this unit was sent to me by Y Wig. Shout out to you, Y Wigs, for sending me this unit. This unit does come with two combs in the front, one comb in the back with adjustable straps, and it is in the style Sherry. It is 10 inches long, it's 150% density, and it is in the color medium burnt orange. So right here, I am styling the unit, and it really already came layered and all that, so I'm just kind of straightening it to make it to my liking. And right here, I am cutting it a little bit because one side was longer than the other and yeah I wanted it to be more of an even look so that's what I'm doing here and everything else is basically gonna be me styling it the same way that I always do so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch me do that and if you're interested in any more details and specs and all that good stuff then please continue to watch and I will see you love bucks in the outro bye <laughs> finished styling this wig and this is what I got if you are interested in the details the specs and all that good stuff about this unit then please continue to watch so this unit was sent to me by Y Wigs Hair. Shout out to you Y Wigs for sending me this unit. I really do appreciate it. So the unit I am rocking is in the wig named Sherry. It is 10 inches long. It's 150% density. It's medium. The color is medium burnt orange. The cap construction is six inch deep part lace front wig. Yeah, okay. Medium color and um, no cap size medium and lace color medium color so I guess when they mean like medium brown and y'all hold on now this is okay yeah so it is a frontal so I'm guessing they mean 13 by 6 inch like when they said 6 inch part they mean that their parting does go all the way back and it does but it is a frontal unit so you don't have to wear it in the the side part if you don't want to um mine did come in the side part and child mine did come in the side part and i just left it in the part that it came in but you can part it however you want now granted i feel like um because it does come layered like you may have to do some tweaking if you decide that you want to wear it a different way um i did want to wear it in the side part so it wasn't an issue for me but if you want to wear it differently you may have to do some tweaking to it because it does come layered and this is what it looks like on the site so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna um add the pictures on the screen so you guys can see what it looks like on the site and it shows you like how it, it basically comes layered in the front so i'm trying to see if they have anything differently on here okay so i want to mention that this wig does come with the elastic band hooks okay and the elastic band is like the band that you attach it looks like the little bra strap and you can makes it you know it makes the wig tighter so you can wear it as a glueless wig versus laying it the way that i laid mine um i didn't have those straps <laughs> and 
and I, I had this happen once before and I think it's just like child like girl we forgot okay but I'm pretty sure you know obviously they're sending it to me for free I'm pretty sure when it comes to your wig that they won't forget to send it or you can make sure like honey make sure you send me my elastic band girl okay and if you don't receive it just kind of tell them um but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys the pricing with the lengths okay so for the 10 inches which is what this length is I always go for 10 inches because I do have a shorter neck kind of know what like how bobs or whatever lay on you like I have a short neck so 10 8 to 10 inches is like my go-to if you have a more elongated neck and think um, hearts and cakes uh, 90 or, or Brittany think her she has a more uh, elongated swan like neck if you have one of those type necks you may want to go for a longer bob but I do have a short chubby neck <laughs> so I always go for 10 inches and if you got this unit in 10 inches and yeah if you got it in 10 inches and 150 percent density like i have it in it'll be 140 dollars honey okay so keep that in mind and the longest you can get this wig is 14 inches and that's going to add an extra 50 dollars because companies do charge by the length so if you go up to 14 inches this wig um will be 175 dollars in 150 percent density now the density does change. I mean, the price does change with the density as well. So if you go up to 180% density, um, it's an extra $15. Now, honestly, I do prefer my wigs to be, a hundred. I mean, my bobs to be 150% density and sometimes even less. I just don't like a really, really thick bob. I like my bobs to be flowy and just you know kind of like this one like i just that's my personal preference but like i i'm not one of those people that expect everybody to be like me child i'm just i'm not that girl <laughs> so yeah that's just my own personal preference but if that's not your preference i get it girl i get it so yeah i want to throw that out there now as far as the hairline i felt like the hairline was phenomenal y'all and i do have a new lens so i can't actually zoom in or, or out child that's why you saw all up in my face right now <laughs> but um you guys i feel like y'all can kind of see it um my lace is lifting because i don't think i put enough um spray right here but you guys get the gist <laughs> you get the gist so i feel like the hairline looks really good i didn't tweeze it anymore because i felt like it looked really decent and especially the way that i knew i was going to be wearing this wig i didn't feel like it needed any like extra tweaking like i thought it was fine the way it was so yeah and as far as the parting i feel like the the parting could use maybe a little bit more uh tweezing i'm not mad at it but it just kind of depends on what you like as far as your your part but i personally felt like it looked good as is and yeah y'all that is pretty much it now as far as big head friendliness with this wig i do feel like it is it's big head friendly um it fit me good i feel like let me see if you can get it in a different cap size it looks like it's only available in an average cap size i do feel like this cap size is more medium to large head friendly versus small to medium head friendly so definitely keep that in mind um my little head people i feel like you'll be swimming in it but you can make it work by definitely laying it down but if you don't lay it down i don't think you can make it work like that's just my own personal opinion and now as far as shedding and tangling honey i don't feel like she sheds at all now you do see some hair on my shirt that is or you may not child i don't know but that is from me um cutting over here i ended up cutting more of the hair than than was needed and it I don't know i made it shed a lot over there just from the way that i cut it and it's you can still see it's just kind of like flying but i do know that is from me cutting the hair it's not from the hair just shed so yeah that is pretty much it um i obviously don't have to give you guys a lint check because this is it honey no michael jackson i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a full 360 um in the outro portion of this video so if you are interested in seeing the full 360 as well as my thoughts and stuff on this unit then please continue to watch okay y'all so how do i feel about this wig honestly i like 
no child honey honestly i love this wig i love this wig i love that they went ahead and styled it for me which is always a plus with me for with why wigs like I remember saying like one time they was like yeah can you um review this wig and they sent me a, a picture of a wig that was definitely cut and styled and stuff and I was like honey like I'm nobody's beautician I ain't ready to get that wig like that girl I can't cut it like that and they was like no we have a stylist we will have it cut for you and I was like really <laughs> really girl and they did so I always like that that is definitely one of my favorite things about this company is that the wigs come just like bomb okay like they definitely go ahead and have it laid for you so yeah they definitely have it already laid for you and I love that another thing is I love the color but I do want to say I honestly thought this color to me this color is more of an auburn ish color to me or copper color to me than orange and I did have one of you guys like have been asking me and waiting for a, a orange with dark roots and I really thought that this wig was going to be a super bright orange wig with dark roots and honey I'm sorry it's just not that wig <laughs> that is definitely not the color of it this is definitely more of a wearable orange color it's, it, it is more of a burnt orange like did they say it was burnt orange child if, if they said it was burnt orange, it is more of a burnt orange slash copper color. Yeah, they do say medium burnt orange. But on the site, I feel like I felt like it was dark. I mean, lighter than this. But it could have just been me, child. But it is definitely more of a burnt orange copper color. So, yeah. I'm sorry, boo. <laughs> I thought I had you, girl. So, I'm sorry. But, yeah, I really love it. I love that it is wearable. I love it that, you know, I feel like you can wear this wig in any setting and it looks really good. It looks professional, but I feel like you can also wear it date night sexy because your girl is doing date night tonight, honey. Okay? And it's going to have to be date night sexy because I'm not changing my hair. I'm just not. She's not. Okay? So, I feel like you can make it date night sexy as well. I just think it is a really nice wig. I think it is nice and I think it is wearable. So, yeah. I have literally no, um, no cons. No cons. I mean, well, the only con was that I thought it was lighter. But turns out that con ain't a con, honey. So, yeah, I like it. I think it is nice. I will um, mention that you guys did see me straighten the wig. The wig, and I'm guessing it was because of the, the way it was packaged. Um, it did come, like, flipped out. Like, I don't know how to describe but, it, you know, it came, like, out. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I did have to straighten it. And I did cut this side some because i felt like this side was longer than this side now i'm not mad at an asymmetrical bob but if it's gonna be asymmetrical i need this side to be longer than this side not the other way around so and they actually do show that on this picture like when they show the back it looks like one side is longer than the other and it is that particular side and i'll be like popping the picture up here so you guys can see it so yeah they I, I think it was intentional i just personally prefer for this side to be longer than this side so yeah that's a personal thing but other than that y'all i love the wig i think it is really really cute i think it is an entire look i love that it came basically pre-styled because it came with the layers even though i had to flat iron it i love that it came with the layers and whatever so yeah it's a look to me let me know what you guys think about it if you like it as much as i do let me know down below in the comments and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a full 360 and we can wrap this thing all the way up okay so this is obviously the unit in the front this is it on the left side this is it in the back And this is it on the right side. I also love how much body this unit have, like, or has. <laughs> I think it is, oh, I just think it's a whole look. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about this wig. If you are interested in this unit, I will have a direct link to it down below in the description box for your convenience. And, yeah, y'all, that is pretty much it. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, something you feel like I may have left out, feel free to comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed, sis, click the subscribe button. And if you're not already follow me on all my social media platforms, I am Disastrous Beauty on both IG and Facebook. I'm Hail to Me and See on Snapchat. And I'm Disastrous B on Twitter. And I will see you, love folks, next time. Bye.